<laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Advanced Feline History, Unit 201. And the topic for today's lecture is of the awful battles of the pigs and the pollicles, uh, together with some account of the participation of the pugs and of the ponds, and the intervention of the great rumpus cat. <laughs> the pigs and the pollicles, everyone knows, are proud and implacable, passionate foes. It is always the same where everyone goes. And the pugs and the pops. Although people say that they do not like fighting, once in a way they will now and again join into the fray. <laughs> and they start to bark, 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 until you can hear them all over the park. <laughs> Now, on the occasion of which I shall speak, almost nothing had happened for nearly a week, and that's a long time for a pole or a peak. The big police dog was away from his beat. I don't know the reason why, but most people think he'd slipped into the Wellington Arms for a drink, and no one at all was about on the street when a peak and a polycle advance or exactly retreat but they glared at each other and they scraped their hind feet <laughs> and then they started to bark 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 until you can hear them all over the park <laughs> The peak. Although people may say what they please, it's no British dog, but a heathen Chinese. And so all the peaks, when they heard the uproar, some came to the window, some came to the door, there were surely a dozen, were more likely a score. And together they started to grumble and wheeze in their huffery snuffery heathen Chinese. <laughs> but a terrible day is what pollicles like. Because your pollicle dog is a Dowie Yorkshire type. And his broad Scottish cousins are all snappers and biters and every dog jack of the notable fighters. So they stepped out with their papers in order, playing when the blue bonnets come over the border. <laughs> well then, the pugs and the palms held no longer aloof, but some from the balcony, some from the roof, joined into the din with a bark, 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 until you could hear them all over the park. <laughs> <laughs> now, when these bold heroes together assembled, the traffic all stopped and the underground trembled. And some of the neighbours were so much afraid that they started to ring up the fire brigade. When suddenly, up from a small basement flat, why, who should stalk out but the great rumpus cat his eyes were like fireballs fearfully blazing <laughs> he gave a great yawn and his jaws were amazing and when he looked out through the bars of the area you never saw anything fiercer or hairier and what glare of his eyes and his yawning. The peaks and the follicles quickly took warning. He looked at the sky and he gave a great leap. 
and they, every last one of them, scattered like sheep. <laughs> and so, when the police dog returned to his beat, there wasn't a single one left on the street. <laughs> Well, your, your uh, assignments will be found at the bottom of the lecture notes. <laughs> A good afternoon, everybody, and I will see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.